I have gone to an awful lot of banquets in my life, and should be a parent. Especially when I was a priest at the University of Notre Dame. Uh, they do a lot of entertaining there. And I have met, heck, I met the former king of Jordan. I met Trudeau, not this Trudeau of Canada, but his dad, who was premier of Canada. I met all sorts of people. Um, I met several presidents. Uh, and I've had banquets in the same room with them. I remember when George W. Bush was there for a graduation. Uh, secret services all over the campus for days. Uh, to get into the wherever we'd be eating, you have to be patted down and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I was a you know a couple of rows back, the banquet was for about a hundred people. And I wonder what would have happened if I had gone up to the head table and sat next to President Bush. Well, I can tell you what would have happened. Secret Service would have been out with their guns. I'd have been thrown to the ground, dragged out. It would have been bad news in the paper. Father Dan Janky arrested by the Secret Service. The right to sit next to the President of the United States is jealously guarded. And it's planned way ahead of time. Uh, it wasn't for a lowly priest to take or claim that honor for myself. Jesus kind of points out a somewhat similar situation in today's gospel. It was the Sabbath. The Jewish Sabbath is Saturday. And after Sabbath services, it was not at all unusual to have a banquet, especially with the leading rabbis and Pharisees. Now, Jesus gets invited. And he sees everybody going into the banquet room, kind of jockeying for a position. Now you have to understand something about ancient banquets. A lot of times, people ate in public. They might have been kind of a room with one wall down. So everybody could see you eat. Uh, you're kind of putting on a, a display for the neighbors. People reclined at a banquet. They laid down on couches, three to a couch. Normally you put your head in your left hand and you kind of eat with your right hand from little tables in front of you. And the most important place at the banquet was the center couch. The host sat in the center. His most honored guests sat on the island and kind of went in descending order. The couch is arranged kind of in a large U. Now Jesus is watching what's going on. People want to be up by that center couch. If not on it, be the one next to it. But just like Dan Jakey at the University of Notre Dame, if somebody went and took the top place without permission, without an invitation, with enormous shame, he'd be kicked down lower. And everybody saw it. When these banquets would go on, there might be a crowd watching the people. It was one of the ways people showed I'm important, and my neighbors have got to realize it. Jesus said, don't be like that. Take the lowest place, and then, the host may come up to you and say, come up higher. For whoever humbles himself will be rewarded by the one, but the one who acts out his power, they will be brought down low. That's a real basic Christian message for all of us. Uh, we are children of God. Uh, you don't feel like you're being especially honored wherever you sit at your family kitchen table or if it's Thanksgiving in the dining room. A lot of times you kind of sit by tradition. Mom and dad might be at either end of the table. Your youngest granny brother might be next to your mom so she can control them. And everybody's welcome there, your family. You have a right to be there. You don't have to claw your way in. And the kingdom of heaven is like that. Think of what you've been reflecting on, that God, our Father, is our Abba our Papa, our Daddy, that Jesus is our Savior, the one who abides with us, who actually lives in our hearts and souls, and that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are all brothers and sisters, so we don't have to push and shove to get at the head of the line. 
We are the honored children of God. I once also had the privilege of having lunch with the Pope. This was St. John Paul II. I was a brand new, still skinny bishop. My beard wasn't white. And uh, about 12 of us were invited to lunch in a little tiny room, smaller than the one in, the, in my house in Peoria. And the Pope didn't sit at the end of the table. We sat in the middle, and we were pretty crowded. I checked, was at the end with uh, Monsignor Jeebus, who's now Cardinal Jeebus, Archbishop of Krakow, and we're kind of pushed in there. Uh, the Pope didn't say anything at first, because if he did, everyone would say, yes, you're holy, no, you're holy. Instead, he let the conversation get moving along, and then he joined in. And uh, it was not unlike a dinner at any of the rectories in our diocese, where people are together, they're friends, there isn't a huge pecking order, you're glad to be there, uh, the food is maybe incidental, it's nice and it's good, but the real feast is being with one another. And there was the Vicar of Christ on earth in the middle, joining in, just like a brother priest. He made us feel at home. He welcomed us to his family table. He gave us good example on how to act generously, kindly, going the extra mile to make a stranger feel at home. All of you are challenged as disciples of Christ to do the same thing. To someone you meet in school, you know, I know what the pecking order is sometimes in cafeterias. Clicks meet and eat together. But to welcome a stranger, Maybe in sports, somebody new on a team. You make them feel at home. To reach out to somebody in your neighborhood who maybe just got there and doesn't have friends yet. It is the basic Christian vocation to welcome people to the table of the Lord. The best example we have of that is what we're doing right now. God, our Father, calls us together. We hear the word of God. The Holy Spirit helps us understand it. Jesus is our priest, our host. He shares his precious body and blood, soul, and divinity. He shares his life with us. So the Father sees and loves in us what he sees and loves in his only begotten Son. It is a miracle that takes place that the Lord is truly present. But another miracle is supposed to take place, and that's when you leave here that you carry this gift of God's bounty, of his hospitality out of you to everyone you need, even strangers, even enemies. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, watch out for banquets. This could be you one of these days. But carry the spirit of banquet with you everywhere you go and share God's riches.